The following program is brought to you by Cadbury Easter Products. No bunny knows Easter like Cadbury. Do you have problems relating to your child? Yo, man, your styling's a whack. You're fretting on the revelation, G. What? Are you having problems relating to your child's generation? Son, are you dicing us? Your fat rhymes are a mirage. Check the road map. Don't you wish you could understand what your child is saying? Then maybe you should get hooked on slang. Hooked on Slang can teach you how to understand the basic slang fundamentals. Yo, homie. Repeat after me. Yo, homie. Yo, yo, yo homie. The Hooked on Slang course explains how to incorporate slang in your everyday life. Okay, always begin a question with yo. Okay? For example, yo, what's for dinner? Dinner. Our Hooked on Slang instructors are required to spend two days a week on the street to offer you the most up-to-date slang. Yeah, yo, I'm conjugating some of that Godzilla Superfly gear TNT proper. Yeah, right here. Somewhere I roll, yo. In-class demonstrations make learning slang as easy as one, two, three. Yo, man, I got some biscuits on over at the crib. Pronto on over, Chili Willy. Why don't you come on over to my house as quickly as possible because the other lads are here and we are going to have a party. Hey, yo, 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 man, my Funko Trials going crazy legs. My television is acting up and I am unable to watch my favorite show. Hey. Drat. <laughs> Hooked on Slang is an investment into your future. <laughs> Soon you'll be jive-talking with the hippest of ease. Yo, 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 come on inside. I mean, uh, rat soup eaten in the lobby ain't no hobby. You know what I'm saying? The Money Mac ain't calibrating to the method. Hey, yo, home fry, yo, you use a cootio, man. Check it later. I hear you, brother. <laughs> Tic-tac, wickety-whack. Hooked on slang worked for me, and it can work for you, too. I'm Hannah Grace. And I'm Lloyd Gennight. And this is the three-minute news. More importantly, this is the last three-minute news. That's right. Topping tonight's stories, it seems some uppity egghead from the network felt our little news program wasn't quite making the grade. Sources at the network cited poor journalistic skills for the cancellation. One network executive was quoted as saying, Never before have so many ham-fisted hacks gathered together in the name of shoddy news gathering. Between the bad interviews and awful reporting. The three-minute news team was by far the worst in the history of journalism. Except for that lovely Hannah Grace, of course. She should really be anchoring a big-time network newscast. Now that's talent. Um, the executive uh, was then heard to say the only star that shines brighter than Hannah watched her face is that gifted and dashing Lloyd Goodnight. Now that's anchor material. You mean <coughs> wanker material? Now reporting live from the three-minute news dressing room with their thoughts on the subject is the three-minute news team. So, what do you think, guys? Take a guess, bonehead. We're thrilled with the announcement, right? Idiot. 
Hey guys, what's going on here? We've been cancelled. Apparently one of the executive monkeys at the network felt that no news was good news. Get the f*** out of here, seriously? Serious, Bill. Aw, oh, man, this sucks! Um, uh, we now go over to fashion reporter Shanna Van Doren. Shanna, what are your views on this the final edition of the three-minute news? <laughs> Well, for one thing, these jackets are hideous. Absolutely hideous. I'm talking a huge fashion no-no. Flat, ugly colors, and very, very uncomfortable. You too, huh? Polyester and these things really irritates my nurples. Wow. I can't believe they canceled me. I mean, you guys, I understand, but <laughs> I'm Cliff Jenkins. I'm a legend in this business. Is this the same guy who promised an interview with one of the Toronto Raptors? and instead did a report to the towel boy. Oh, really? Well, at what? least his reports were good enough to air, right? Well, I can't right? 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 All right, all right, right? enough right? already. Let's just sign out with dignity, please. For the three-minute news, I'm Bill Swan. I'm Carol Ferret, right? And I'm Chris Jenkins. Duncan Buchanan. And I'm oh. Shanna Van Doren. And for all of us at the Three Minute News, I'm Hannah Grace. And I'm Lloyd. Oh, I'm crying out loud. You're taking the gas now, too? Oh, that's great. Really great. But it was so informative and fresh! This is so sad! It makes me want to... <laughs> Giggle! Oh, well, no more time for me! But there is time for Fantastic Tales of Jake! Oh yeah, and other stuff like those wacky emergency calls! So keep watching Owl Wars of Earth! Cause it's all right here and... Body Check, featuring Al Hansen and Diane Sintz-Pobolinski. <laughs> hey, what's so funny, Al? Oh, nothing. It's just a nervous tick. <laughs> Did you know that laughter is an excellent way to relieve the stress of everyday life? <laughs> in fact, studies show that the average person requires at least 16 good laughs a day in order to keep a healthy, happy disposition. One way to get a good dose of the giggles is to watch a lot of television. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> and the best place to start is with sitcoms. Now, the average sitcom contains at least two good laughs per half-hour episode. Now, that means in order to fulfill the daily laugh quota, experts suggest watching at least four solid hours of television each and every night. <laughs> and don't worry if you don't know where the funny parts are, because the sitcom usually has a laugh track to help you point out the comedy. <laughs> when you hear the laugh track... <laughs> That's your cue to laugh. <laughs> Woo so remember, 16 laughs a day can potentially help keep the emotional and psychological blues away. <laughs> so laugh it up and join us here next time on Body Check. Hey! <laughs> Body Check. I'm going to get those Smurfs. You can have a Smurfy good time in the wonderful world of Smurfs. You'll really Smurf them. They're all here. Papa Smurf, Smurfette, and Baby Smurf. I Smurf you. Smurf wagon coming through. Oh, but watch out for Gargamel. I'll get you Smurfs. Smurfs and Smurf figures with accessories are sold separately from Irwin. 
There's new country fun at the Littlest Pet Shop. Newborn families keep on growing. Mommies love having babies. Wow. Babies love playing with Daddy. <laughs> and the Country Garden Nursery's full of family fun. But you'll find the biggest surprise inside many surprise pets. Aww. The Littlest Pets, yes. Kitty Chase is mousy. Each one's a tiny world of fun. We're the Littlest Pets. The Littlest Cat. The Littlest Pets you ever met at. The Littlest Pet Shop. Many surprise pets each sold separately. Newborn families and Country Garden Nursery sold separately, too. Making all that moves to a different groove with Spirograph. Hey. New color change Spirograph. Change your tune. This real cool paper. What a surprise. Next colors change. Right before your eyes. Turn it up with Sparkle Spiro. The funky designs and wild glittery lines that shine. Spiro, Spiro, Making all that moves to a different groove with Spirograph. New color change Spirograph and Sparkle Spirograph come with everything you see here. Each sold separately. These are the mean machines Watch closely now and you will see They can hurt you They can cut you These are the mean machines Trevor knows what it means to play safe A year ago he tried to beat the train It cost him his arm Don't let it happen to you, play safe A message from the War Amps of Canada Play safe Hey, hey, hey! What do you say when you pop your bubble gum and it sticks to your face? Uh oh! Oh yeah, let's go right now, baby! Yeah, joining me here at the wheel are David, Christina, and Eric. And hey, the partners are here too. Amir, Matthew, and Evan are standing by waiting patiently for the mayhem to begin. So let's get started. Our contestants here will take turns spinning the big wheel. And on the wheel are bonus points, messy activities, quick quizzes, and all sorts of unpleasant surprises. Why are they unpleasant? Because I said so! You don't believe me, Blue? Spin the wheel anyway! <laughs> Good spin there, David. I like it. When's it gonna stop, David? Could you tell us that? This is a short show, you know. Did them in really, really good. Come on, saturate them. All right, now I'm going to toss a feather up into the air, and I want you to catch it and put it in this bucket. But now the trick is you can't touch the bucket. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. On your marks. Let me find a good feather. Get set and go. Oh, nice. You can't touch the bucket. You can't touch the bucket. Is it in? It's in. It's in. Stop the time, folks. That's a good job right there. Beautiful. All right, we got 50 points right there, Blue. Christina, let's spin that wheel, why don't you? That's a good spin. Hey, that's a first, huh? That's a first. Look at this. Oh! Right there, that almost escaped us, but we got it. Punisher, be so kind. Okay, Christina, this is how it works. I'm going to ask you a very simple question. If you get it right, then you get some points. If you get it wrong, your partner will hit you for the rest of his life because he'll be really goody. Here we go. <clears throat> In what year was the largest tomato on record grown? 1980, 1983, 1986, or the year I was born, 1990? 1980? You said 1980? Oh, I'm sorry. It's 1986. Oh, that's so bad. Punisher, do you like fresh tomatoes? Especially if they're canned tomatoes. Oh, my. See if you can do the job in spin that wheel. Good spin there, buddy boy. Let's just sit back on our heels and see where this one lands, huh, Eric? Where's it gonna stop? Where's it gonna stop? Oh, just like that. And the Punisher's having a really nice day today, isn't it? Eric, Eric, over here, please. This is what we're going to do. You saw what we did to Christina. I'm going to ask you a question. And if you get it wrong, yada, 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 yada. Here we go. Boom. Huh. 
who directed the 1988 remake of The Blob? Chuck Russell, James Cameron, Andy Milligan, or Ed Wood? You say Chuck Russell, you're absolutely right! Boy, Eric, not only will your partner love you for the rest of your life, but you got 25 points, not too bad. All right, that completes round one. Let's recap the scores. Blue, you got 50. Green, you got zero. Hey, red, you got 25. Not too bad. Hey, I'd like to remind you that uh, there's more to this game than getting messy. There's great prizes. Check them out right here. Winners will receive from Panasonic the new Shockwave with awesome virtual motion sound system. Only Shockwave cranks sound so huge you can feel the music shake in your brain. Also available without VMSS. Runners up will receive God a Second from Canada Games. It's the game of tick tick tickling fun. God a Second? All contestants will receive a selection of Cadbury's products including Cadbury's Cream Egg, Cadbury's Caramel Egg, Cadbury's Mini Eggs, and Cadbury's Bunny. Oh yeah, what a great first round. But just to make things a little more interesting, we've switched the contestants around. All right, are you ready to spin a mirror? Yes, I am. Then spin that wheel, baby! <laughs> yeah, I like that. A little character you got there, Amir. That's good stuff. Where's it gonna land? Let us wait and see. Come on, Amir! I need you to help me get these poor little ping pong balls out of this nasty pumpkin filling. See yeah. if you can suck five of them out of there, I'll give you 50 points. Are you ready? Okay. All right, on your mark, get set, go! Oh, Too bad. Blue, you get your point there. Matthew, spin the wheel. <laughs> That's a good spin, Matthew. Don't worry about it. Let's see what we're going to land on today. It's me, I am really into hats, ladies. And I've got a special hat for you to wear, okay? Now, this hat has spiky bits on it. And it's the way you can use it to break water balloons. If you can break five of them, I'll give you some points. Are you in? So put it on. Let's see. There you go. We'll strap you in. Let's put it on this way. Okay. All right. Y'all set? We'll fuck you up. You have no bike, but you've got balloons. Okay? Okay. On your mark. Balloons are here. Come over here. On your mark. Get set. Go! You know, that looks like a lot of fun. Watch out for that flat. We don't want it to fall on you. All right, Evan. Guess what? It's time for you to spin that wheel. Why don't you do it for us, baby? Oh, yeah. That's the spin. Where's it going to be, baby? Where's it going to be? Win and spin. Very good, Evan. This is how it goes. 23 points for you, and you get to spin again. So do it! <laughs> Making it a much closer game than we thought, folks. Where's it gonna be? Oh, oh. The Punisher is having a day far better than any game he's ever seen. Okay, Evan, this is how we do it. I ask you the question, you get it right, you get points. Actually, if you get this right, you win the game. If you get it wrong, your partner gets clashed and you go home. Here we go. In the television show, The Brady Bunch, who said pork chops and applesauce? Mike Brady, Greg Brady, Peter Brady, or Bobby Brady? You say Greg Brady? Oh, I'm sorry, the answer was Peter Brady. Uh, with a pumpkin bogo accent, I should say. Punisher. Punisher and Avatar! Oh, boy. That is so Yeah, well, that ends round two. Bing, just like that. Now, let's...
let's recap the scores. Red, you got 45. Green, 50. Blue, 50. We got ourselves an old-fashioned tie. All right, tiebreaker. This is how it goes. Get your hands on the buzzer. Let's have some quiet here, please. Thank you. I didn't say buzz the buzzer. I said hands on the buzzer, ready to buzz. Here we go. Tiebreaker. If you buzz and you answer right, you get it right. If you buzz and you answer wrong, you automatically lose. You better know the right answer. Here we go. <sighs> True or false? A baby whale is called a calf. Green. True. You are absolutely correct. <laughs> of lovely Lisa and Sporty Susie comes a new doll with big hair and a mouth to match. New Talking Tanya is the first doll not afraid to tell it like it is. Do you like my new outfit, Tanya? Yeah, too bad it didn't come in your size. <laughs> and Tanya comes with her own boyfriend, Wimpy Warren. Hey there, Tanya. You're looking lovely today. Stop it, Warren. I'm not in the mood. But, honey... Fight me, baby. Talking Tanya also comes with real-life sound effects. Uh. Oh, yeah. Like a broken CD, that burger keeps repeating on me. <laughs> Talking Tanya from Spuco. Of course. Uh. <laughs> it's Batman forever. Now, Batman's energized with bioactive tech suits blazing with pummeling power. So when the Riddler's blowing minds from his hideous hideout, Ice Blade Batman deploys his ski sled as he slides in to slam evil. And Batarang Batman whips in as he puts a different spin on crushing crime. And slicing through the seas, the Batboat becomes a two-in-one terror. Adapting for the ultimate battle on land to blast this vicious riddle and cut him down to size. No question, it's Batman forever. Figures and vehicle each sold separately. Now it's time for the Pizza Head Show. Hey, everybody. It's party time, and we just ordered a Pizza Hut pizza. And here it is. It's Officer Steve, uh -oh. and he says you're disturbing the peace. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, See you next time. It's the Pizza Head Show. Hey, everybody. When you buy a Pizza Hut pizza, you can get a Rollins basketball for $5.99. Yay! Hey, Pizza Head. How about a little one-on-one? -on -one? Well, okay. Great. Meet your opponent. But he's six foot 40. Ah, somebody call time out. See you next time. We are Gargoyle. Dark Demona's out to slay those she loved but did betray. Climbing Goliath rises high as Hudson lets his big sword fly. We are Gargoyle. And now look for new Elisa and new Series 2 Gargoyles. Each sold separately. He's not just a superhero, he's the superhero! Doomsday is all I got! Plots not included. Superman rests! So cow! Bad guys gotta learn! You don't mess with the ass! Superman! Take your feet sold separately. There are so many obstacles in the way. And there's always an excuse to quit. It's too hard, too much pressure. I knew it wouldn't be easy, but I was determined to succeed. If it wasn't basketball, it would be something else. I wanted to do something with my life. And let's face it, if you don't have your high school diploma, you don't have a shot. Stay in school. It's your best move.
Toronto, Ontario, M6J3N1. On the internet, alive at ytv.ca. What's the hottest job in Moscow? Here's a hint. Your fries are ready. Put your finger on the pulse of a changing planet on YTV News, Sunday at 1230. Right now. Join the Space Academy for Wicked Adventure. YTV's got Hypernauts next. It's Alive has been brought to you by Cadbury Easter Products. No bunny knows Easter like Cadbury. Go hard, fly high. It's the main event. YTV strapping you in courtside for the extreme. In your face. NBA basketball jam. Check out ripping NBA action. Go one-on-one -on -one with NBA stars. And learn the key to playing ball. To make a fast break for NBA Dunk Street starting April 5th only on YTV. Kick it! Clear your mind and crank it way up! Coming at you in the jungle, baby, week after week. We're counting it down. The hit list today at 1.30 on YTV. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 